I haven't heard your dogs on enough that I, I don't know their mouths. I brought uh, dogs that, uh, with pretty distinguishable mouths that I can tell. Uh, I can tell all these dogs' mouths, and most anyone can that's after they hear them bark a few times. That lady faced him. What's she out of? Well, she's out of Red Man and Little Dixie, and Little Dixie's out of Judy. Yeah. She's she's almost a full sister to to Wheeler and mm -hmm. them. Say. Yeah. They're half brother and sisters on the sire's side, and her mother is a. a out of Julie. Jim's got one of them, my son-in-law, and uh, oh, Howard Jones has got one, and uh, out of that litter, and uh, Winford Smith has one out of that litter. Well, what did Winford do with old Dixie? Uh, Dixie, uh, uh, she got something wrong with her and just kept getting worse and uh, she just went off in the woods and and died hmm. you ever i've noticed uh, my hounds uh that's an odd thing but they uh, uh unless i haven't pinned up i i could name you i bet you a dozen different dogs that knew when their time had come and uh, they'll just go off in the woods and, and die they uh, uh, that's just a, a thing with them, and uh, I hardly ever have one just to uh, pass out unless he just gets down and can't get up. They, when when their time's up, uh, they know it, and they just go off in the woods, and I never know, never know what happens. Edward, how long have you been raising dogs? About 14 years, 15. I'm my own one, that is. Which Daddy one? always had them when we grew up, but it, he was really like to say, you know, he just kept dogs. He, uh, combination dogs. He'd tune hunt them, fox hunt them. It didn't make any difference. He just all sort. What got you into, into uh, breeding and selling? Well, uh, just the sport of it more than anything. Uh, way of done, I just got started hunting. And, uh, you know, then sell a fellow dog and he likes it, and then somebody else wants one, and that's, that's how it got started. Is there much money in it? Well, yeah, I know the more in the sport than are in the otherwise, you know. It, the way I look at it, they would be if a guy, you know, just wanted to make it professional. -like. But uh, I never raised no pups, so I don't want some myself. Is this what there is to uh, fox hunting mainly? Uh, no, well, sitting, standing around, and listening, or well, not to me. That's one reason. I, uh, most usually in the daylight, you know, you hunt in the daylight, you get to see a lot. And uh, there is where I pick my dogs. But, uh, I can tell by watching that hound what he's doing in the daylight, and uh, see a lot of time in the fall of the year. Maybe we will catch two or three in one day. And that's when I like, you know, really like to hunt. But then we do a lot of listening to them. But I like to watch them. If you go too strong on commercializing, you use, you lose the true sportsmanship, don't well, you? Well, that's the way I look at it. Yeah, you, it, you really do. But. Like I say, I don't... Uh, if I don't want some pups out of the dog myself, I never raise none. Uh, Edward and I uh, look at it the same way. We're just poor boys, but when if we can sell a dog, why it it help makes our sport pay off, and we get along a little better with our wives. <laughs> <laughs> Is they well? Uh, my my sport's carrying its weight, 
and uh, uh, I uh, have a couple of dollars besides, so uh, uh, your women folks don't make it as hard on you. If you're not, uh, if the dogs are paying their way, more or less, uh, and uh, if you uh, raise a dog that, uh, or a litter of pups, or a family of dogs, and as Edward says, uh, uh, you sell them to some people just can't, they live in an area that they can't raise dogs. So uh, uh, Edward and I both live in an area that where we can raise them and train them, and, and uh, some people can't train them, so they'll come and buy dogs from us, and it's already trained. You mentioned something there. Is it, is it hard to be the wife of a fox hunter? Well, you know, mine, I'll have to say, I've never had to say anything about it. Uh, to tell you the truth, I've never had to grumble about anything. I sure ain't. It just, uh, I do whatever I take a notion. She just about does what she does. That's, I, that's can't, I can't say that much for mine. She, she grumbles about it. <laughs> <laughs> someone, someone in town, uh, uh, I was trying to find out the difference between a fox hunter and a coon hunter. Obviously, than the fact that the coon hunters go out for the hides. Someone in town said uh, you never saw a single man fox hunt. <laughs> 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 well, now I'm gonna have to agree, uh, disagree with that because I hunted from a kid up, and uh, I got really hunted a lot by myself. I just go hunting and hunt by myself. But then, uh, when I hunted game, I hunted to kill it. You know, foxes, coyotes, it didn't make any difference. I, I hunted it to kill it. And uh, I done, well, I'd say 90% of the hunting I done by myself. You know, I'd just go. And Daddy would tell me, he'd say, now you're going to keep on. Something happened, you out there in the woods be yourself, and we'll never find you. But uh, we never, you know, we just, I hunted that way. Did your dad teach you, or did you kind of learn on your own? Or? Well, both. Uh, Chuck's my time, I can remember, you know, he was a hunter. And then uh, lots of things, you know, I just picked up on my own. He never did coyote hunt. Well, there wasn't no coyotes hardly then. And uh, we just, uh, I got started fox hunting, and then I just went to coyote hunting. I'd rather run a coyote as a gray fox. Now, a red fox put up a pretty good race, some of them. But some coyotes don't run too good. Well, I hunted. I never got married till I was 30. And I've hunted all my life, ever since I was big enough to sit behind my dad on a horse. And uh, uh, I've owned dogs uh, uh, just as quick as I got back out of the service. Why, uh, any dog that would run, if they'd, uh, if I could uh, get a hold of it, why, I, I, I got a hold of that dog. And uh, I never did uh, hunt. Uh, Edward and I was a little different hunters that way. I always just hunted for the race, and uh, I, uh, I never did. Uh, I don't guess that I ever. I, n I never killed a fox in my life. And uh, uh, but I just uh, go to hear him run. Now I've jumped him out, and I, uh, I like Edward. I sure like to watch my dogs, and I, I like to watch a fight, uh, a wolf fight. But uh, I. Uh, I like to hear a gray fox race. I like to hear a bunch of dogs get on a gray fox and and uh, and just get in there and pull hair on in that gray fox race. But uh, it's every man to his own bag of tricks, and uh, I uh, try not to interfere with. And I respect every man's sport. I want them all you? to do just any way that they want to. Of course, they want to take on it. How many did you ever catch that you jumped out? Well, they don't don't catch them all. But I, got, I don't remember ever seeing one jumping out of a tree and dogs catch him out there. They, uh, a fox is pretty foxy. I've jumped them out of trees and they'll be they'll be a running right straight and maybe in just a sm little draw. And that fox will turn and come right back through them dogs and won't be a dog to get a hold of them. Yes, sir. Come right back to them. We'll jump them out. And them dogs ever want Paul right before that fox hit the ground, and he'll be out the Monday. Yeah. That's sure the truth. Uh, now, I've caught several of them. The dogs just run them down and catch them on the ground, but I never did jump one out of the tree and see the dogs catch him right there before they uh, jumped out. A dog 
thinks he understands that fox, and some dogs are smarter than others. Uh, I know I had a big old dog as bad to dig foxes out, and uh, especially gray foxes, and I've watched him did dig different ones out. And he'd just sail in there and dig a little bit, and then he'd stand back and look. And then he'd jump in there and dig some more, and he'd come back and look. And on two different occasions when I lived down to Perryville, and that that is in a wind-blown area down there, and he could dig them, he found out he could dig them, those foxes out. I got him off of uh, Irvin Carr. Uh, I forget that old dog's name. You stench him out, dog. Nobody liked him. But uh, he'd fly in there and dig, and uh, I was watching him in a steep bank, and this gray fox would come out, of, and when this dog backed off, that gray fox come out, and that dog and that fox would just keep their eye right on one another, and that fox just kept a slipping like that. And it got up on that, on once that fox, he had his eye right on that dog, and that dog was standing there. Most dogs would have jumped right at that fox, and the fox had gone back in the hole. But that dog let that fox get out far enough, give him a chance to run, and off he went. 